Now we're gonna do some insulating. The good news is none of that's even itchy. So it's not even gonna be that bad. Man, if only I could get the uh, great stuff guys to just sponsor the channel. I keep plugging this pro gun. Um, so in a two by four wall, something that I like to do is uh, take some low expansion foam and shove her back in here, let it kind of do its thing. And uh, basically, so the electricians caulked these inside corners as you can kind of see, but uh, I like to put the foam back there and kind of let the foam like envelop around the uh, boxes and light switches and stuff. And that'll like 100% guarantee that they're not drafty and frosty in the winter time so um i usually when i get going so this is only my zoom out oh zoom in zoom out it's only my second bay here but uh because we had some running around to do but as i go i just kind of keep the foam gun with me and i just take care of any switch boxes and outlet boxes as i go and then i know i didn't forget any so uh yeah but i'm probably gonna set up a time lapse unfortunately that's where eight feet stops. So as you can see, we still got like 18 more inches. So I'm gonna have to do a bunch of cuts and kind of tuck them up under that ledger. But uh, I'll probably have Adam cut for me and I'll get on the stilts, which will make that much easier to do. And yeah, so let's get insulating. So you can see in the far stuff over there, these lighter colored bats are uh, R13 bats. And then these darker colored bats are R19 bats. Our, how do you even say that? These are our, our, our R19 bats. Yeah, that's, yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, so Adam's cutting for me because I'm back onto the stilts again uh, to try and make this easy. So we plugged up all of our holes and then I'm hanging these from the top down uh, just so that we can finish all the groundwork. So you can see we have our R19 bat in the two by six wall and this is an R13 bat. And these are those header boxes that we had uh, framed in a long time ago. So, I really like these because we get this guy all in here and and fluffed up real nice like we get a header above our window that gets R13 insulation. That's pretty sweet instead of having a huge thermal bridge here of you know three three plies of a two by material and two plies of like half inch material in it that makes a whole lot more sense to me. So um, that's pretty awesome. Drywall backing, you know, we should be able to trim no problem. <clears throat> so I really kind of dig that. So I think that's something we're gonna probably frame the same from here on out. All right, so we're pretty close on insulating. Uh, we got the drywall lift here. Um, this is all done. Like I said, we batted the ceiling. So we did an R38 bat in the ceiling, R19 bats in the walls. We've got a bunch of our drywall stocked. This is like, mm, most of our ceiling load. So we're going to I'm gonna jump up on the stilts and Adam's going to help me 
uh, hang the plastic uh, in these couple rooms back here. And the only thing left to insulate is the front porch and our partition walls with the rock wool. But when we do the rock wool, we like to hang one side of the drywall and then put the rock wool in and then drywall the other side. So um, we're going to get this all sealed up and then we're going to start hanging rock. I found it. This is green glue, noise proofing sealant, AKA acoustical sealant. It's in a jumbo tube. Um, so we're gonna put our plastique up onto the walls and we will use the certainty green glue to seal um, the plastic to the wood and then we'll use tape to seal plastic to plastic. So we're pretty excited to use this. I finally got some, we'll see how it goes. All right, Adam's finishing up the uh, foam around the windows and got the big tube loaded up and uh so i'm gonna run a bead across the top plates and then down the sides to the window here and then uh i'm gonna start with a straight edge so i rolled the plastic out the length of the room made an incision so now i should have one straight edge so theoretically if i take the factory long edge of the plastic and hold it to all of our joists, this should hang really nice coming down. So we'll see if we get that lucky, but that's the theory. So um, gonna get the plastic hung down on the walls first in these couple rooms, and then I'm gonna run the ceiling out and then put like a one foot um, flap on the ceiling piece that I'll tape to the wall piece and everything will be sealed up. All right, so I went through and I got my nice bead of acoustic sealant, AKA the uh, green glue. I kind of smear that stuff around, make sure we got a nice tight seal. This stuff kind of like stays pliable and never really sets up. So it's a little, little weird. Stilts are kind of a big help for this, especially with these tall ceilings. So now before running running down, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna peel, I'm gonna actually get underneath and put a nice seal around the window and down these edges so that this is all super tight. Very nice. All right, so that is how the uh, vapor barrier goes up. Uh, Adam is finishing off the last of the details around the electrical boxes. So he's just uh, kind of like pushing, sealing the tape to the box and then pushing it back against the plastic just to kind of help with any little sealing around that. And then probably when we're done with drywall, we'll run a little bead of something around the uh, drywall to box connection and that should kind of seal it off the rest of the way but uh sealant all the way around the perimeter and then around each of the windows um stapled off and then you just kind of like run your you know smear in all done all right that'll wrap up uh, insulation and air sealing. I just have a few pictures. I'm not really sure what happened to the rest of the video. Probably forgot to take it. Uh, but as you can see, we taped the ceiling sheet down onto the wall sheets here. Um, and then we also sealed up around the electrical boxes. So that worked out pretty decent. Um, I had to send these to the inspector because he's getting lazy. Uh, but that should 
help with like drafts and stuff and then those being a nice two by six wall with r19 insulation in it should be pretty warm in the winter so uh, that'll wrap this one up uh, hopefully we'll have a spray foam video coming soon uh, to deal with the front porch and then we'll be into drywall all right we're signing off thanks for watching like comment and subscribe down below